Welcome to Dragonsang, tra 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 <laughs> the River of Time. Um, let's play a new game. We'll play on normal. Dragonsang. Let's get you a pale ale. Alas, the beer tastes only half as good without our dough. Those were the days back then. None of you has ever told me what actually happened back then. Because it's a secret. Yes, that's what you keep telling me over and over. Hmm. Maybe you're old enough for it now. Listen. It's a story about betrayal and greed, and the beginning of a friendship. A young, previously unknown adventurer was also with us. Otherwise, we would probably not have pulled it off. Somehow, this person got entangled in our problems during the autumn of the year 1009, after Bosparan's fall. We all met on the journey, as it so often happens. Hmm. How might it have been for the Greenhorn? <laughs> Just imagine, Gladys. I'll reveal to you who it was. All right, so this dwarf is telling the story 30 years after it happened, shortly. So, uh, yeah, 28 years. Right. Playing a female. Was it like playing females? Uh, yeah, the voice acting of that, uh, of the girl in the uh, video there was pretty horrible. That first line is especially, but um, yeah, this might be one of those games where the German voiceover is probably better than the English one. Uh, the same was true for well, that was there was a fan-made mod, and I've mentioned it before. But Enderall, the uh, yeah, the, the German VO of Enderall is way better in my opinion than the uh, English one. Uh, we don't have a ton of options. Yeah, that's that's it. I like this one. Short uh, face. I've only have three face options. I think. Yeah, physical. Either this is medium, small, large, medium. So we'll stay medium. Um, there are a lot of names to generate, but I've already picked one out beforehand uh, will be uh, I have a bunch of them written down actually I just went through the uh, I, <laughs> I didn't want to sit here generating names for 10 minutes so I just did it beforehand mm, I liked Fianca and then uh, that one Fianca Durnhold that's how I'll we'll pronounce it. So we only have three options really. A warrior, archer, or soldier. I think I'm gonna go with soldier because 
think warrior would be the kind of the standard one, but then when you look at soldier, it's actually warrior only gets melee bonus, but then the warrior the soldier gets equipment advantage, vitality bonus, and rapid healing. Plus he has more vitality. And yeah, he loses a bit of charisma and dexterity, but only one point I believe, yeah. So yeah, that's not too bad. One less point in courage, but he gets more strength and more constitution. And more agility actually. So this is um, called the Dark Eye Draken Song and then um, River of Time. And the Dark Eye is actually a pen and paper system, but I'm really not familiar with it at all. Um, let's see here, character sheet. The character sheet contains all game stats, spells and talents sorted into oh, sorted into tabs at the top of the screen. If you have multiple heroes, click on the relevant hero's portrait at the top right to switch between them and to swap items. Clicking on a piece of armor or a weapon to equip it, right click to see a wealth of information on values, object, talents, spells, special skills. If you want to use leveling points to upgrade values, click the plus button. Talents. Your hero's abilities are listed here. The value represented how well your hero has mastered each ability. The, the stripes indicates that you first need to learn this talent from a trainer. Talents are used in many different ways. Many social talents are used in dialogue. Healing talents are used in conjunction with items for healing, while nature talents assist your hero in dealing with plants and animals. To use a talent, your hero will roll a test on a value and three associated attributes. The result is displayed in a message log. Increase. You can increase all elements in the talent, combat talents, combat talents and spell step by clicking the up down arrow. If you don't have enough experience points left, you won't be able to increase the element. The same applies when the element has reached its maximum value. When you click on accept changes, everything will be locked in. Up until then, you can uh, allocate and remove as you wish. Cancel to back all the points you have allocated. Talents with the stripes are missing spells must be first be learned from trainer. Hmm. Willpower. Used in it also. Uh, willpower can, on one hand, be used in dialogue. It also enables you to withstand great pain. A character with high willpower will not be distracted in combat, even by heavy blows. Right? This seems like something that we need as a warrior, so that's fine. It doesn't. Looks like it has to do with. Um, uh, what would you call it? Spell casting. Survival. Hmm. Treat wounds, treat poison, arcane lore, that seems okay. Some plant lore and animal would, lore would be nice, but... Uh, vitality bonus, rapid healing. Ah, oh right, we don't have any points left. The hero recovers rapid rapidly from physical exertion and the vitality is quickly restored. So we could replace this with something else. Mm, but maybe not. Let's keep it as is, I think. Here's something that, m that I might want to change. Each weapon category has its own talents values that specifies how well a hero can attack and parry using the particular weapon. While melee skill stats are initially divided between attack and parry, you can however click on upgrade values to modify these values. The maximum possible difference between the two is 5 points. Range combat talents have only an attack value. So yeah, we, we have skill in dagger, but I really don't want to use daggers. Two-handed sword, maybe. Throwing weapons. Hmm. Uh, 
All right, it's the attack in this area, I suppose. Special skills, you must actively initiate melee and range combat capabilities in combat by directing them at a target. They cost endurance points. Defensive skills give the hero permanent benefits and do not cost endurance points. Every hero can learn these from trainers who require money and adventure points for passing on their wisdom. Right clicking on most special skills will tell you more about them, most importantly the weapon category which they belong. So we get mighty blow. Do we have any ranged spells and do we have any def defensive? Hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, let's keep that as is. Spells, spells and rituals. Here you will find all spells your hero has learned along with their value. Spells you have not yet learned are not listed here. There are great many of them. They can protect either the hero or the party. You either can heal or cause damage to enemies. Da -da -da. Increase spell prowess by adding points and spell values in the collection order in the middle. Uh, Remember, it is not possible to cast spells wearing metal armor. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, but we don't have spells anyway. Recipe book. This is a collection of all recipes and instructions you have learned in the game that is shared with the whole party. On the right, you will find all the recipes you have learned. Clicking on them will bring up a display on the left. Following things, the recipe description, ingredients, same statistics, such quantities, numbers da, 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 to be. If you find an object which is labeled as an ingredient, there will be a recipe which uses it. You know, click on labs, workbenches or anvils in the world to make new items. Note that you can find recipes and instructions as well as buy them from a merchant. Right, so we can be an alchemist, we can be blacksmith or a, uh, a boat maker it seems. Uh, oh, we can... Let's see... Some sneak, no human, human nature. What? Mm, social skill. We're not really much of a. We could get streetwise. What's this to reset leveling points. Sneak, no, I don't need sneak. Da -da. Maybe get some extra survival, sure. Because we can. Oh. Uh, were we done? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think so. Welcome, you were standing on a boat and maybe unsure of what to do. Opening the quest book at the bottom left hand side of the screen will review your task. All quests are entered here. Or entered there. As well as useful information and on the aims and tasks involved. If you receive a message telling that a quest has been completed, filled or updated, you will find all the information about it in the quest book. This will light up. Right. And here we are, we're in the game. Uh, yeah, Fianca Durnold, so we have the right name. Oh, my character looks the way I want her to. So that is fine. Yeah, the reason I said that maybe the um, German VO is better than the English one is because I believe this game is is way more popular in Germany than anywhere else. I kind of I, I think the whole Dark Eye franchise is either originates from German Germany because I remember this game was released in 
2011 and I remember I think right before it came out the demo was released and I remember playing it and it was in German and I thought well I, I know a little German so maybe I'll, I'll figure it out but <laughs> yeah that didn't work out quite as planned so I only got really kind of vaguely knew what was going on but so maybe the ideal way to play this would be um, German VO with uh, English subtitles but then again the video we just watched the intro video didn't have subtitles so to get the whole picture we probably just need to stick with English uh, the night camp the star of Furdok has anchored off a small island we plan to make our night camp here before continuing our journey on the great river tomorrow I see go and see the captain I'm supposed to get off the deck as we're not going any further today captain Elbas is obviously waiting for me to talk is waiting to talk to me complete your training I'm on my way to Naderat Naderat to spend some time off the beaten track of my previous training and to learn the last few lessons that I need in order to perfect my skill by myself okay and so yeah not really entirely sure what we're meant to be doing Wh uh, why we're on this boat and but let's have a look I had a look on the boat before I didn't get my very far off the boat I was just checking if everything worked Captain Boy Henry, I'm busy, I have no time to spare. Busy, got to work. Right. I think there was a... Yeah, here it is. Usable objects. If you move your mouse over a usable object, the cursor will change its appearance. Doors can be opened, dead animals can be gutted, plants harvested, enemies looted, etc. Right-clicking opens a radial menu from which you can select various actions. Let's see. Look. This type of barrel is used for transport liquids. Is used to transport liquids. Let's open it up. Let's see what's in there. Hand and a halfer. An elegant two-handed weapon. All right. Oh, th uh, that's what we have actually. That this is ah uh, right. Kind of expected it to be the other way around. So there's um, there's beer in this barrel. Baron Dajin of Nedrad had this beer brewed as a response to the famous Furdok Pale Ale from the country's capital. This competitor's project, however, product, however, failed due to its abominable taste. So is this the one that tastes awful or is this the one that tastes good? I, ca I guess it's bad. Sure, we'll take it, but I don't think... I'm, not, I'm guessing it's not any, no good. Inventory. This is where every hero gathers and sorts his or her belongings. The image in the center shows what your hero is currently wearing. On the right you will see two bags and a quest bag. You can have your hero equip weapons, armor and jewelry by left clicking on the item. While right clicking will display a description of each item. Many items such as weapons and potions can be dragged to the quick bar below. Um, every hero has its uh, has his or own quick bar. Give objects to other members of your party by dragging them to and dropping them on their portraits. You can use them via radial menu, or you can also split up stacks. All right. So we'll equip the sword. Simple bandages. Five simple bandages. This bandage can be used by a healer to render first aid. Bandages can also help to heal wounds or serious injuries. Drop or use inventory back to uh huh. Ah, we have a weight system. Quest back. All the objects in your quest back are specifically intended for use in quests. You cannot create or destroy them, sell or lose them. They will be automatically removed when they are no longer needed. You don't need to worry about weight or space restrictions as the quest back grows to accommodate its contents. <laughs> right clicking on an object will provide impor important information on the its and the quest in which to which it belongs. Letter of recommendation. I see. Read. Ah, there we are. Letter of recommendation. Ra Rondra be with you, Nimrelf. The maiden who is bringing you this note is a brave young woman who in whom I place great hopes. 
I took her firmly in hand for a year and she has mastered all weapons that she can employ on the battlefield. However, she is still lacking one thing and that is true picture of a soldier's existence. Before I can release her in good conscience, someone must see to it that her unrealistic fantasies are replaced by reality. <laughs> she shouldn't throw a life away due to, to a surfeit of bravado, but survive long enough to become a genuine hero. I'm convinced that no one can do it better than a hard-boiled ogre battle veteran like you. Show her what a soldier's life is really like, I'm sure she'll thank you for it in the end. We'll meet again at Rondra's table, Captain Durgong. Blue Fort from the Wolf's Guard at Isilia. Right, now we know a little bit more about what's going on. So, we can actually... This is kind of nice, we can run, we can walk, we can sneak, we can draw our weapons, and we can pause. The uh, thing is though, the walking is maybe just a tad too slow. I kind it's of good of you to ah. join us on land, young lady. We'll camp here tonight before we reach Nadareth tomorrow. But there is just one thing. You promised to make yourself useful during our journey. I forgot all about that, or I would have given you something to do much sooner. And of course I keep my word, Captain. What can I do to help? Your your mind must be playing tricks with you. <laughs> this is the first thing I've heard of a deal. Um, yeah, what can I do to help? Lend old Pete a hand to set up camp for the night. We'll set off at first light tomorrow. Our paying passengers are in a hurry. Uh, let's see, there's something I wanted to ask you. Ah, uh, these young folks have a thirst for knowledge. Ask away. What can you tell me about Netherat? Why are we bothering to set camp for the night? That's all, Captain. Uh, why are we bothering to set up camp for the night? Well, for one thing, it's night. And you're much better off on the land at night. If you ask Pete, he'll tell you that the River Father hates being woken at night and crushes the ships that disturb his sleep. But I would say it's just good sense. You can't see the rocks in a river at night. Is there anything else you would like to ask? What can you tell me, uh, tell me about Nedorat? Well, what can I say? It's a small and rather pretty trading town on the Great River, ruled by the Honorable Baron Dajan of Nadarat. Streetwise Fianca Dernald. Hmm, Captain, every town with a harbor has a seedy side to it. There must be something special in Nedorat. You certainly are well informed. Yes, there is a place beneath the town where prize fights are held. If you're clever, you can make yourself a few ducats betting on them. Is there anything else you would like to ask? That's all, Captain. I'll ask Pete if there is anything to do. Henry, nobody can sleep with all that hammering. Those repairs have to be completed before we rest in the night. I don't think that getting me to tell stories with... I really need a fire. I mean, it's not that cold. Might be cold yet, but boy, don't burn it for once. Always chill. That is a lot of text. Uh, I'll see to it later. Let's talk to Sailor. Oh, what? Oh, it's someone from the boat! What was your name again? Fianca Durnald. How could you forget? Oh, right! You're the one who couldn't afford to pay the full fare. The one that I can use for odd jobs. Sorry. I don't know how I can forget that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, the captain was so friendly to point me in your direction. Friendly? <laughs> well, if you enjoy working so much, you can do my job as well. Or not. Who knows what a mess you'd make of it. I seem to remember that if someone chose to waste their money on betting instead of buying, Tinder Fungus and Furdock. No, that's not true. Somebody stole the money and I was so shocked by the theft that I forgot to buy the Tinder Fungus. Really? I don't have any tinder fungus either, how can I help? What's so important about the tinder fungus? Do you want me to catch a cold tonight? And what about those fine gents over there? No tinder fungus, no fire. Got it? I don't have any tinder fungus either, how can I help? Well, someone will have to find some dry tinder fungus somewhere on this island and you are going with them, just in case. 
I'm not scared. I would go on my own if it wasn't so dull. Make sure she comes back in one piece, or you'll have me to deal with. Jana is in enough trouble as it is. Um. Uh, let's not. Let's just say okay. Uh, of course, come on, Jana, we'll go. And then you can tell me what he whispered to you. Come on. Don't you dare. And Jana, no dawdling and jabbering about. There's work to be done. Come on, tell me. What did he whisper to you? A bit more respect, please. It's bad enough that we have to hunt around here like this because of you. I shouldn't frighten you by pulling scary faces. Can you do the dragon? <laughs> Yeah, he whispered to me that I shouldn't frighten you by pulling scary faces. <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you about. I think there might be some tinder fungus inside the ruined tower. Let's take a look there. All right. Let's put this back to. Oh, that's the sneak icon. Didn't mean to hit that. The status effect has modified your hero's state. This is displayed next to their portrait. Green is good, red is bad. Move your mouse over it to see more information. If the symbol has a bar, the effect is only temporary. A number shows that the effect has occurred multiple times. Example, two wounds. Mm, if there is no bar next to the symbol, you must remove the effect yourself, either by using an object or taking an antidote. That is good to know. Look for dry tinder fungus. Just ask me to help the young sailor girl, Jaina. Look for dry tinder fungus so we can light a campfire. She already has an idea, but if we can find some, I'm supposed to follow her. Oh, let's run. Let's make a save. Pete isn't like that all the time, really. But he doesn't mean to be cruel, I think. There, I'll grab that piece of tinder fungus, then we can get out of here. Oh no. It's as wet as a bowl of kosh cabbage broth. We won't find a shred of dry tinder fungus out here if Effort has blessed the entire island with his wonders. Hmm. What shall we do now? I know. While we're here, let's take a look inside the ruined tower. I bet it's still nice and dry inside. Sounds like a nice little adventure. I'm in. Sure. So you like adventures, do you? Me too. I mean, I like to listen to stories about adventures. Come on, let's go. Let's see. sure that we should go in there uh, th there seems to be a cave in there and in Pete's tales only one person ever gets out of a cave alive hmm. stay calm I know how to fight stay here if you're afraid I'll go alone mm, you're right you should go in <laughs> you should go in alone <laughs> uh, is Pete good at telling stories he sure is if we manage to get a fire going tonight he might even tell you one but I'd rather not think about his monsters right now who knows what might be lurking in the cave? Um. Right, you stay here, I'll go in. You want me to wait here alone? No way! I'd much rather stick with you, not that I'm afraid. It's just that waiting here would be so dull. Come on, you can lead the way. Okay. Guests, 
You've added a hero to your party that you cannot directly control. His or her inventory is also close to you. Nevertheless, he or she follows your party and assists in battle as normal. He or she acts in accordance with his or her nature, but you can also give him or her beneficial buffs through group spells. Be careful to protect these heroes, as some of them can die. Right. So getting this game to run was a bit of a hassle. Um, I think uh, that m so the this is actually the second game in the series. Well, there are only two, and this one was released in 2011, so that they're pretty much just two. But um, it was a bit of a hassle to get running, and maybe that's the reason why only the first one is available at GOG. Maybe the second one isn't up to snuff at mo uh, for modern uh, machines and whatnot. But um, well, as you can see, it does run. This is Windows 10, but you're not seeing it because I'm because of the way I'm recording it but it's actually running in uh, window in a windowed mode because in full screen it uh, it will not run and also the resolution I had to set manually which wasn't a big deal really you just have to open a uh, profile XML file and just type in the numbers by hand because in the uh, settings the game well, to give it credit, it goes up to 1080p, but it, it doesn't go up to 1440p, which is uh, which, which which is the resolution we're at now. Um, but yeah, so um, well, if you if you get this game, there will be um, instructions if you run into the issue where it, it it basically doesn't boot. Well, it might boot, but then at the main menu, it uh, the mouse doesn't work, and if you try to click on anything, it boots you out of the game. Uh, but it just tells you to, um, there are guides online that just tell you to um, add a perimeter when starting it up uh, to start it up in Windows mode. And then it works just fine. It's a bit of a shame though, I should, you could install third party programs to get it running in, in borderless f uh, full screen. But this is fine, I'm, uh, what I'm looking at, it's almost full screen, I can only see... Um, like the uh, application board uh, at the top and my uh, Windows bar at the bottom, but the rest of the screen is full on game screen, so it's, it's really not that bad. Here we have some. It's a slippery as grease cap, carp. The cave isn't the driest either, but perhaps Fax will have mercy if we search a bit longer. Bowl of sacrificial offerings. You're not quite sure, but this could be a sacrificial bowl. Uh, Don't touch it. I think it's a shrine consecrated to the River Father, and Pete reminds me every day that a good boatman never angers the River Father. Really? Then perhaps we should heed his words. Oh, come on, it's just superstitious nonsense. Uh, who is this River Father that you speak of? According to Pete. The River Father has watched over the Great River since time immemorial. Legend has it that he appears in the guise of a river creature, an old man, or even in the form of a walking willow. And he's friends with the fairies, too. Hmm. She said fairies, but he has, it says sprites. Then perhaps we should heed his word. Just this once, anyway. Thanks. Who knows what might have happened otherwise? Hmm, should we fight the bats? Combat. The attacker attacks while the defender parries. This is how each combat round works, although someone without a shield can only parry once. Multiple opponents can attack him or her. Uh, clicking on an opponent enables all selected heroes to attack him or her. The control Use control key to select multiple heroes. You can strategically assign heroes to different attackers as well as use specific skills and spells to combat opponents. You can stack control left click attacks. Spells for each hero in the attack list next to his or her character portrait. He or she will then carry out these attack skills spell in the same sequence. Message lock. Let's let's just try. Let's see if we can learn by doing. Uh. 
So do we just keep... Aha. You have received your first adventure points. As a reward of performing partic particular activities and for combat. You will receive others for completing quests or defeating opponents. You can use these AP to increase your hero's capabilities at any time. To do so, open your character street sheet, click upgrade. Every hero has her uh, has her own his or her own amount. Once the hero exceeds a certain amount, his or her level will increase. All right. All right. So this just can use one of these. There we go. Thank the twelve guards you were here. Otherwise, uh, no one would believe me if I tell what happened. Well, there were bats. That was all. Uh, sure. Well, it's an RPG after all. Let's pick up the scraps. Looks like we're both fine. At last, a piece of dry tinder fungus. Let's take this back to Pete right now. I'm looking forward to a nice warm fire. Uh, let's explore the rest of the cave. You fancy yourself as an adventurer, don't you? Yep. I guess I do, because I saw some barrels here, which I wanted to check out. Shoddy barrel, which we have to attack. Broken arrows, rusty nails. Apple. Arrow, sure. Yeah, we're done. I think, let's see. Kind of curious what would happen though if we messed with that altar, but let's not. Alright, we have a map here, location map. There is a map of the surrounding area of or of the story or cellar of the building you are currently in. Right. The entire area will become visible on the on the map as your group explores all of it. Fast travel points and quest destinations are also shown. TA streetwise display merchants. TA dwarf knows Display secret passages. Right clicking on a place on the map enables you to place a note there. Oh. You can of course create more than one note. Right click again to edit or delete it. That's always a nice option to have. Zoom in, zoom out. Bowl of stone. Old barge. Tower cellar scout. Huh. Yeah, this is what I uh, remember from this game. I uh, kind of really like the um, kind of the aesthetic of this game, and also as if you look at this, uh, kind of how they did this map, they put some effort into this. People cared about it. That's always nice to see. Goose feathers, bolts. That's why this game uh, always stuck with me over the years, and now it was cheap and on sale and I uh, s s suddenly it popped in my head and I thought alright let's try that yeah let's get back wait a moment I want to ask you something we never get the opportunity to talk in private on the ship tell me what do you think of the other passengers? Um, that's what I've been wanting to ask you the whole time. Yeah, that's because <laughs> I haven't met the other passengers really, so I don't have no idea. Well? The captain is hard to read. Can be easy working on the Pete. Do you know anything about the other three passengers? 
Do you, uh, do you know anything about the other passengers? Well, if you know anything about them, you have to tell me. I've already tried to get some information out of that good-looking, dark-haired fellow. But the dwarf and the blonde-haired fellow with the broad shoulders drove me away as soon as they saw what was going on. With all their whispering and carrying on, they're like a gaggle of old maids, hmm? They certainly seem to be up to something. Ha, huh, you and your imaginations, they're just shriveling merchants. Yeah, let's be naive about it. I didn't think you'd believe me, but I'm sure they're not who they pretend to be. Hmm. What about the others? The captain is hard to read. But he knows the great river like the back of his hand. He knows how to avoid the river's teeth and can navigate the ship safely through the devil's maw. While I quake and quiver in fear, he can be a hard and stubborn man. But I guess he has to be. After all, he has to shoulder the responsibility for the ship, the crew, and the passengers. The way you speak of him, it sounds as though he must be a good captain. The word stubborn doesn't even begin to describe that misery old codger. <laughs> uh, now, let's be nice about it. He sure is. The Star of Fairdock has never capsized, and its crew has never gone hungry. What about the others? Can it can be it can't be easy working on the peat. Oh, he's always complaining about something. I can never do anything right in his eyes, and he never believes me either. You can't learn everything in a single day, that's how I see things at least. You have to admit though that story you tried to put past him was pretty weak. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He really shouldn't take his bad temper out on me all the time, but I enjoy listening to his stories. When he talks about his adventures, it's as though you were right there with him. What about the others? Actually, it's you I'd like to know more about. Me? Um, why? I'm sure that you will have adventures and be rich and powerful one day. But as for me, well, there's nothing interesting to say about me. I think you're right. <laughs> Stop making yourself less interesting than you are, China. Oh, thanks. You're right. I'm as grumpy as old Pete sometimes. But I would love to know what becomes of you one day. We've talked for long enough. Hey, the last one to report to Pete has to light the fire. And she's gone. Turn to camp, yeah. It's a relief to see that you have returned unharmed. We were a bit worried, especially Pete. What do you mean, we're worried? I still am worried. Shaky Legs Carl told me all about what happened. Let's wait patiently. Ah. For all I care, that stupid river father can steal Shaky Legs Carl away. What? Captain, you mustn't say such things. What's more, Henry spied a dark shadow on the river earlier. Now that's an evil omen if you ask me. But I'm not asking you, Pete. If you want to stand guard all night, be my guest. But I want everyone else rested up for the coming day. And that's my final word on the matter. Don't say anything, let them talk. Just in case anyone is interested, we actually did find some dry tinder fungus. Good news at last. Pete, stop babbling and take care of the fire, all right? <sighs> you! Take care of the fire, Jenna! But... And you go. Yeah. Uh, go to sleep. All that for... Foster King about was very tiring. When I was your age, I had <laughs> more respect for those older and wiser than myself. It was a hard day for all of us, and we all need some sleep. Tell your three traveling companions over there that the camp is set for the night, but do not otherwise disturb them. Understood? Right. 
Uh, there's something else I have to tell you. We found something in the cave below in the ruined tower. Jenna thinks it might be a shrine consecrated to the river father. Sure, let's tell him that. Don't let Pete hear about that. What about it? No, I didn't touch it. It's better to be on the safe side. You made a very wise decision, especially as young Jana was there with you. Not that I hold with all that superstitious claptrap, but still, you want anything else? Is there anything new we can ask him? Ah, these young folks have a thirst for knowledge. Let's see. Ask away. Right. What's with those uh, three travelers? There's something strange about them. Forgive me, but I am a discreet man. In spite of what folks might say about us river boatmen, I'll not tell them anything about you, nor tell you anything about them. You'll have to ask them yourself. Right. Um No, let's let's just say thank you, Captain. I respect your discretion. Is there anything else you would like to ask? Pete wants me to stand guard. Are we in danger? Or wants to stand guard. Don't you start with that too. Old Pete loves to frighten everyone with his tails, but there's nothing to them, so drop it. Human nature. You wouldn't be so brusque. If they were just old tales. Hmm, yes. Pirates have been attacking ships on the Great River more frequently, but certainly not this far north. You can rest easy tonight. Is there anything else you would like to ask? No, that's it. Uh, so, do you have anything new to say? You go and speak to the fine gentleman, I have to take care of the fire. Who's this? Ah, Kevin Boy Henry is uh, fast asleep it seems. Is there anything we can pick up here? Sleeping mats? No. So yeah, I think I think these uh, these guys are kind of the um, main protagonists of the uh, of the other game. Or kind of well-known characters in the Dark Eye universe? I really don't know. But uh, yeah, they show up in... Uh, they're on the box art, I believe, so they're pretty important. I'm sorry, but we're in the middle of an important discussion. Mm -hmm. um, the captain has sent me to tell you that the camp is set for the night. Oh, thank you for that reassuring piece of information. I'm sure we've earned a nap. I have to agree with him there. I'll sleep like a log after all that cursed rocking and rolling about on the ship. Nobody's going to bed yet. Or have either of you slackers come up with a good idea yet? <laughs> hmm. Please explain to the captain that we have matters to discuss and that it will take as long as it takes. We wish to remain undisturbed. Understood? <laughs> they just told me they don't want to be disturbed, but uh, oh well, let's just ask them. You're also traveling to Netherrat, aren't you? That's none of your business. But uh, we don't have anything to hide, so I guess we can tell you. We are. We are. We're merely traveling merchants. And we have important matters to discuss. That's right. We have a private matter to discuss, so push off. Oh my, you are such an elegant and subtle character, Gamlund. I am impressed. What's that supposed to mean? You're making fun of me, Kano? Uh, uh, Fox Hill, I mean Fox Hill. <laughs> it would be better if you left us alone now. I'm sure that one of the boatmen would be glad to chat with you. Right. Let's see, Captain. Yeah, I'm not really sure if we should be uh, exploring just yet. But I honestly don't know. Well, let's have a let's have a check. Let's see if there's anything around. One berry. 
The ultimate healing plant. It is often imbibed as a juice or used in alchemical preparations. It can ever linder wounds in its unprocessed form. Even linder. Yeah. The four leafed one berry is holy to both the goddess Perain and the young Tsa. The goddess created the four leafed one berry so that the people of Aventuria need not suffer pain and weakness. So I take it Aventuria is uh, the world that we're on. Plant lore. You can find plants using the TP survival. They are displayed according to difficulty in the minimap. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, corner of the screen, left clicking on a plant will have you uh, well enable the first select the heroes to harvest it. Make sure that you select a hero that has high TA plant lore to do this. Uh, if he or she fails, the, the plant is rendered unusable for a while. Luckily all plants do grow back. You will simply have to go back later and try again. Yeah, there's something, a hollow tree stump. We get rewarded for a little exploration, it seems, if there's anything of value in it. Uh, yeah. Nuts, belt scrap, elm wood, a handful of walnuts. Uh, yeah, these are all ingredients, it seems. Ingredient, ingredient, ingredient. There we go. Uh, more plants. Yeah, but we don't have enough plant lore to do anything with them. You have anything more to say, Pete? What do you want? Why do you want to stand guard? Janet told me that you are quite a storyteller. Perhaps you could tell me a story. Why do you want to stand guard? Why do you think? We're in danger. We ignore the omens at our peril. More? What omens? Why are you so fearful? First, I saw a raven land in the crow's nest. And the other birds carried on as if nothing had happened. Then there's the white phantom swimming below the foam on the river. And just earlier, I saw a stag and a boar standing in the river. Um, all right, and what's so remarkable about that? Go on, make fun of me, but that won't protect us from the evil eye. You'll see more. Jenna told me you were quite a storyteller. Perhaps you could tell me a story. Mm, perhaps. What would you like to hear? Hmm? Perhaps you could tell me about your adventures on the river. Mm. I could tell you about the time when I met the river father himself, or the story of how I once caught a golden mermaid. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Ruined Tower over there? Ah, yes. That's one of the old toll keeps that used to line the river. Of course, they're all ruins nowadays. And the few remaining guards on the river, hmm, well, they are too busy with themselves to care. Aren't any of the fortresses along the Great River still manned? Mm. Oh, yes. Thurstone Tollgate is still in use. But a good boatman counts his blessings when he has passed that place. The things I've seen there. When I was still a young cabin boy, we passed the toll gate in thick fog. I was watching the raging waters from the deck when I saw it. The monster. Its body was covered with spikes, and its eye was as big as a wagon wheel. I only spied it for a moment, and I pray to the River Father every night that I shall never set eyes on it again. <sighs> That's a wonderful story. Thank you. More? <laughs> um, tell me about your encounter with the River Father. I was still a youngster like you, and my captain was inexperienced. In the dead of night, he steered our ship straight into a huge boulder. I was thrown from the deck and plunged into the river's icy grip. Dragged far below the surface by a powerful vortex, I was sure my time had come. But then I saw a brightly lit valley. Full of creatures, the like of which I had never dreamt could exist. 
Three-eyed dolphins danced about playing with bubbles, while human-like figures with transparent skin and fins swam about between schools of seahorses and giant krakens. And then I saw him, with his long, flowing beard and mighty crown of muscles, the river. Yeah, how could the valley be so brightly lit when it was the middle of the night? Hmm. So you don't believe me, do you? Just one more word and story time will be over for you. <laughs> what about the mermaid? As a young river boatman, I often used to go out alone on the river in a rowing boat to catch fish. One day, there was such a mighty tug on the line that I thought perhaps I'd caught a gigantic pike. Well, I pulled with all my might, but I could barely hold on to my rod. So I bound myself to the mast and let the fish drag the boat along behind it. For three whole days it dragged me upstream until it tired. Only then was I able to pull in my line. Hmm. The old sailor Pete in the sea. When I saw what I had caught, I was terrified. A mermaid with hair of pure gold. Luckily, she was unconscious. So I cut off a lock of her hair and rode away as fast as I could before she could cast a spell on me. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a big tail, that. Uh, a rowing boat with a mast? That does it. You are <laughs> not a good listener. If you can't appreciate my stories, I shan't bother you with any more of them. Hmm. I would have told him what he did with the lock of hair, but oh well. More? Or ask him about it. Mm. No, that was everything. Nothing. I'll leave you again. Uh, yeah, we need to talk to the captain. Have you spoken with the gentleman? I have. They wanted to dis discuss something before turning into the night. Yep, that's it. Well, that's their business, isn't it? Thank you for helping to set the camp for the night. Pete has laid out your bedroll. It's the one with the yellow blanket over by the fire. Sleep well, comrade. Good night. Uh, it's the one with the yellow blanket by the fire. They're they're all yellow and by the fire. But I'm guessing it's this one because it can... Ah! The, this yellow. Alright. Let's use it. We've uh, already been around. Wake up! We're under attack! Well, he was right. The night camp has been updated. Informers we've traveled, inform the captain, go to sleep, fight the river pirates. Now I have to use what I've learned so far to stand my ground in a battle against the river pirates. Uh, let's see. Sure. Okay. We get knocked down? Guess so. We reached Nadaret early the next day after that nighttime episode. Of course, we didn't want to leave our brave, unconscious comrade in arms behind on board the Star of Ferdok. I would never have dreamed that that poor devil would end up saving us later. By Angus's beard, look at this bump. Filthy cowards. 
Whoever survives a blow like this must rank high in Fex's favor. Maybe someone like that is just a tough nut to crack. You with your Fex all the time. Bah! One day. Give me just one day without you two loggerheads. Is that too much to ask? Oh, yeah? And how about that time when you and Forgrim? Oh, seems like someone's coming around. Good to see you alive and in one piece. It seems you are really tough. These two quarrelsome fellows are Kano and Forgrim. Barosham. It is an honor. And I am... Uh, well, just call me Ardo. My name is Fianca Durnald. Forgive me, but I'm a bit confused. Where are we? What happened to our ship? Where are the guys that attack us? attacked us? I see, yes. You were mm, unconscious. Just take your time to ask any question and you'll get an answer. Um, where am I? Why was I lying here on the pier? You are in Nadareth. Captain Albas was in a hurry to set sail. He told us that you also want to go to Nadareth. So we said we would care for you until you recovered. Of course we would have put you up at an inn. But you beat us to the punch, and here you are, on the pier, unconscious. No! You recovered very quickly indeed. That explains everything. I really am feeling somewhat better now. Thank you. Fine. If you want to know anything else, just ask. What happened, what happened after I was injured? It was like this. When I saw what the gutless thugs had done here, I jumped in the middle of a bunch of the cowards. I must have given about a dozen of them a good whopping. A whole dozen? I really am deeply indebt indebted to you, Forgrim. It's only thanks to you that I'm still alive. <laughs> it's not even worth mentioning. I... Well, that's the truth. Forgrim forgot to mention that his dozen opponents were so demoralized by my fencing skills that they just gave up fighting. At least those who hadn't already been knocked out by the leak of alcohol on his breath. Tch. Fencing skills don't make me laugh. They couldn't stop laughing when they saw you waving that thing in the air like an idiot. And you can't fight when you're laughing. If I were you, I'd... That's enough, you two. If you had been able to forget your vanity for a while, these cowards would never have got away from us. And now we're back where we started. Excuse me, well, what do you mean by back where we started? Did you want to be attacked? <laughs> Did you hear that? Who likes to be attacked, eh? No, no. It's the merchandise that we lost when we were attacked. Without it, we're back to where we started. Uh, whatever. At any rate, I'm grateful that for uh, I'm grateful to you for rescuing me. To all of you. Fine. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Uh, where am I? Why are you so standoffish at the field camp earlier? Yeah. What about Yana, the sailor? Did she survive the ambush? Yeah. I was I was wondering about her. She got a couple of scratches, but nothing serious. The captain thinks she'll be on her feet again in a couple of days. That's the weight of my mind. I'm glad she's doing well. Fine. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Why were you so standoffish at the field camp earlier? Oh, don't take that so seriously. We just didn't want to be disturbed. And we didn't know who was skulking around our camp. Pardon our gruff manner. Uh, let's forget the whole thing. After all, you did save my life. Fine. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Um, I think that's everything. Yep. Now that I think, now that I come to think of it, I have no time to be standing around chatting. See you soon. You are right. Enough talking. It's good to see you on your feet again. We too have to move on. Wait, is there something I can do for you during my apprenticeship here? After all, I owe you my life. Hmm. I believe you could. Keep your eyes and your ears open. Perhaps you'll hear a snippet or two of information about the river pirates. Come tell me in the Leaping Stag if you hear anything. Alright. Before I forget, Forgrim, Kano, you both already know what to do. 
Let's go. We have no time to lose. All right. So those were the cats that were meowing on the entire time during that conversation. Let's see. Complete your training. Close the night camp. Open. Gather information on the pirates. I've been sent to Netherad to meet with Captain Nim Nimralf. He's reputed to have fenced gloriously in the Ogre Wars and someone with his experience in battle can certainly teach me a few things. My starting point is the local barracks. I'm carrying something that I can show this seasoned warrior so that he knows who sent me and that I am worthy of his teachings. Yeah, that was the letter of recommendation we read at the beginning. Gather information on the pirates. These travelers saved my life. It's only right that I helped them. I must keep my ears open for information on the river pirates who attacked us. I'm sure the people in town know something. If I discover something, I am to report back to Ardo, the traveler's leader at the Leaping Stag. Hmm. <laughs> uh, the thing that's a bit uh, annoying to me actually is that they, the um, um, character uh, 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 character creation uh, uh, generator. The name generator was uh, adamant about giving you a last name, but then all these characters in the game don't have don't have last names. They're all just Yana, Ardo, Kaino, Fulgrim. They don't have last names. So now I feel kind of uh, bad about having a last name. Kind of uh, out of step with the rest of the game. But uh, anyway, this is as far as I'll I'll leave the first episode uh, for now. Um, yeah. Graphically, I quite uh, think this game is quite cool. It's uh, it's getting up here and there in years, and it's not graphically impressive. Maybe not even for at the time, but uh, yeah, you know, it's not and it's not a triple A title at all. So I kind of yeah, I like their uh, they put uh, some effort into this. That's that's for sure. But uh, yeah. I'll leave it uh, I'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching. See ya.